Hey, my name is Arseni and I'm an artist working in the game industry. When I started drawing anatomy, I wasted hundreds of hours. That's because I was learning the wrong way. Today I'll show you how you can avoid wasting your time and what's even better, how to start improving in drawing anatomy much faster. Let's say we want to learn how to draw an arm, for example. For this, we will need a reference. Nah, not this one. It's filled with unnecessary details and just too distracting. Instead, we will take a drawings from a well-known artist who are great in drawing anatomy. And because they are great, they have already solved the problem and simplified the human body for us. Firstly, let's take a drawing of the arm. In my case, it's a drawing from the book by an awesome artist Tibi Choi. If we will try to analyze this arm, we will see that it consists of four simple parts. The shoulder, the upper arm, forearm and, of course, the hand. And wait, it looks like a chain. And actually, it's very useful for remembering the structure of the arm. If you noticed, I didn't use any names of the muscles and bones. That's because learning this isn't necessary at this stage and also very time-consuming. Let's save our efforts and time for more practical things. Now we will draw the same arm, but with a little trick. Let's show the volume with lines. Now you are starting to feel the basic forms of the arm and getting comfortable with them. I am sharing my professional experience with you completely for free. Or almost. You can leave a like and it would be a great payoff for me. Thank you. For the next step, let's introduce some muscles. And don't worry, we don't need to go into the deep and learn everything. Instead, we will only be focusing on the large groups of muscles. Because they directly affect the main feature of the character, his silhouette. So we have one big group of muscles on the shoulder, two groups on the upper arm and three groups on the forearm. Not that hard, right? If we will rotate our hand, we will see that some muscle groups, like this green and yellow, are twisting with the movement of the hand. And that's because they are attached here and here. Now, when we know how muscles are looking from the front view, all we need just to draw the side and the back view. And after these drawings, we now fully understand main volumes of the arm and easily can imagine them in 3D space. See, we didn't spend a ton of hours by starting to draw from complex references without any understanding. We just spent a little bit of time to analyze the topic. And now we can draw arm from any angle. All that's left to memorize our new skills is to draw something from real life. To make it easier, you can draw all the anatomy over your reference, like I did. And then start to draw your character. As soon as you've done it, you will know how to draw an arm in any situation. Now you can apply this method of learning to any body part. And if you want to know how I make my anatomy drawings look awesome, check the video in the description below. Subscribe and see you in the next video.